The advantage of photochemical machining is uh, you're not work hardening your material, and the thinner the material, the better. We range from 60 thousandths thick material all the way down to half a thou. And a half a thousandths of an inch thick material, very hard for most companies to machine or to stamp. Um, chemical etching is really the process you want to use for thinner material. Hi, this is Nick Herzog with Northwest Etch Technology. We do photochemical machining. I mean, you can kind of see the, the fine features that are in here. It's real difficult to do any other way. Um, if you tried to stamp something like this, you would have a real difficult time getting a good part that would work. We do materials from stainless to copper uh, to brass, aluminum, um, some ink and nails, and uh, basically ma your major alloys we uh, pretty much can etch. Normally uh, a lot of people aren't familiar with our process and that's why we do so many trade shows is just to get the word out there about our process. It's, it's been around for a long time, just a lot of people don't understand the capabilities and the, the advantages of it. We'll sit down with you, help you design it, and uh, kind of tell you the, the ins and outs of it so you can make a good product um, that's cost effective for you and is also easy to reproduce over and over again. You can do onesie, onesie twosie jobs all the way up to uh, you know, a couple hundred thousand. It really depends on um, what your need is. We do a lot of prototypes. Uh, it's pretty, pretty inexpensive, quick turnarounds. We start with a, a CAD drawing that will be dimensionalized and uh, we'll make a photo tool with this drawing. And everything you see here in black underneath my hand here, that is the, uh, the etch area that we're going to attack. We're going to take the, uh, the photo tool and it will be double sided, uh, a top and a bottom. We'll uh, start with a piece of stainless steel in this example, cover it with photo resist that is light sensitive. And uh, we'll expose it to UV light and it will cure, it will harden. Anything that's shadowed with this black photo tool will actually be soft and malleable. It will still be able to develop out the image underneath. And so once this is exposed to UV light, it'll be hardened. Anything that uh, is shadowed by this black photo mask will be able to etch and expose the metal underneath. This allows us to attack just the areas that are showing through. We're able to then attack just the stainless steel with the acid and etch the actual parts out. And then photo, um, the photo resist we can remove and actually leave you with just the part itself. It's a very minimal tooling cost because really it's that mylar film that I showed you in the process. It's really pretty inexpensive. Um, so in comparison to like a stamping process um, where you're paying for a hard tool, this is the opposite. I mean, you're paying basically a very minimal cost. We do anything from, uh, you know, doing just a flat pattern to actually a formed part, um, something that can be plated um, as well as formed. And these are secondary operations, so we'll actually etch your part out first in the flat pattern, then we'll actually work on forming it and then plating it for you. If you have any questions about photochemical machining, give me a call and uh, we can help you out. See us and other quality suppliers at d2p.com. Mm -hmm.